Hi, welcome to Flash Animation. I hope you enjoy the next nine weeks. Let's get started in this introduction to Flash. What I'd like to cover today is the basics of this course. I know a lot of you have done this before, but I wanted to show you basically some of the things that you need to see. Over here on the left hand side you can see I've got my course navigation. Up at the top, yours is going to look a little bit different from mine. I've got um, the top toolbar. I have a grade book that looks different from yours, but, but essentially that's where you need to turn in assignments. So let's go, let's look at what you need to do for this course. I'm going to go in here to the course overview. Now this course overview is very good. It'll teach you the basics on how to get through the course. Um, however, a lot of you are not new people, so you need to know how to get to the important sections. We have in here finding files and computers, uh, how to set up your web browser, how to do download and set up a zip utility, zipping and unzipping files. You can read all this. But all these instructions are right in here. So let me pull up the table of contents. And we're going to go right away to computer requirements. What do you need to start this course? Okay, what you need is um, at least Microsoft uh, XP, Vista, or the Mac operating systems. I have Windows 7, so obviously that works too. You need to have a registered copy of Flash CS4. Now, some of you have taken um, Flash Game Animation. If so, you have the software. Just check it out. It's Adobe Flash CS5, and that's what K12 will ship you. If you haven't received it, um, go into the announcements, and right there I tell you how to get a copy. Okay? What you need is a gigabyte or a faster processor. If you've got bought a computer within the past 10 years, a speed you've got a processor. Gig. Okay, you need a, a gig of memory, at least two gigabytes of hard drive space. Now, unless you have a lot of games or movies on your computer, you probably have that. You need Adobe Reader. If you don't have that, click there and download it. You need Adobe Flash Player. If you don't have that, you need to click here and download that. Okay, so that's what you need here. So let's go on to the next thing you need. So it tells you how to do different things here. And now we're going to go to how to set up your computer. We're going to go to change the folder view. Now this tells you how to set up your folders in, on your computer. So this tells you to um, click the Start menu. In the My Computer window, click the View menu and click List. Click the Tools menu and then click Folder Options. In the Folder Options uh, dialog box, click the View tab. Under Folder Views, click Apply to All Folders. In the Folder Views dialog box, it says Set All Folders to Your Computer to Match the Current Folders Viewing. Uh, click Yes. And then in the Folders Options dialog box, click OK. And then the, the List Folder View has been adapted to apply all the computers. Now if you're like me, you have, you have to so go I'm through a different I'm going to show way. you how to do this in Windows 7. I click my... Um, Actually, I can click any kind of folder. I just click my folder button here. Now, um, I want to see my folder view. The way I do that is I go into Organize button up here. Go down to Folder and Search Options. Now, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to the View menu and come down, see where it says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Just put a click mark and you take your click mark out of there. So now you can see your extensions. So now I'm going to close out the documents view and we'll come to the next thing. Okay, you need to make a course folder in this class. So I'll click here. Now it's giving you rather complicated instructions. 
um, where to put your course folder. You know what? If you want to put your course folder on the desktop, that's quite all right. That's your business. So all you have to do is um, click local. He says click local disk. This is all good if you have XP, right? But we don't have XP. So you can put it anywhere you want. Let me pull up this again. Okay. If I want to put it on the desktop, I just click desktop and click new folder, name it, the name of the class, or I can do it, go to documents, which I like to do. I have something called course folders. Under course folders, I have um, Flash. Now, I've already downloaded all the resources into Flash, but let me show you how you do this. Okay, you set it up. In your course folders, I, I just named my Flash. If you want to name yours Flash Animation, it's your folder, okay? It gives you all the stuff here. Tells you how to navigate to where you want to go, up to your profiles. Double click your new username. And like I said, it's a lot easier with 7 than it is with, with XP. So, it says name a folder flash. That's what I did. We come down to the next one. Okay, click on table of contents. We're coming down here to lab three. Set up browser and install uh, stuff, right? So, what we're going to do is um, you select your browser. You see up here I have Firefox. Um, a lot of you have Internet Explorer. So I want to change my Firefox uh, settings right here. This, this one tells me how. I'll show you how. You come up here to uh, under Downloads. Click Always when it says to save files. Always ask me where to save files. Go up here where it says Content. Next to Enable JavaScript. Make sure there's a checkbox there. If it doesn't, add the checkbox. Then you click OK. I'll click the Watch the Demonstration. So here it shows you what to do. Now here we get into the piece about choosing your browser. Now all of, uh, actually downloading zip files. So some of you have Compressions Utility software already. Some of you don't. If you have a 7-zip or some kind of zipping software, well def definitely check with me if it's not 7-zip. See if I have the unzipping software. I may not. <laughs> that makes it a little hard to turn it in. So let me see if you're using uh, Firefox, click here to download 7-Zip. So I click here. Now we go to down instructions on how to download 7-Zip with Firefox. Now just go, go here. You have a link to download 7-Zip. You just do that and follow the directions. And you'll be able to zip and unzip files. This is very handy. Okay, and you have a more than a couple files to send. You just wrap them up in a folder and send them to me. It's very easy to use. Um, a lot of people really like it. Besides that, it cuts down on file size. And you have executable files like these. You won't be able to download them into the Dropbox. Some people have had trouble with these files, these flash files. So you want to just um, right click them and click zip them. So you can send them to me and go by that um, uh, process so it doesn't, um, so it lets you send the file to me. Okay, moving on to lab four. We've um, set up our browser. We've set up our folders and the only thing left is to download your resources and your zip assignments. So all you have to do here is, let me come down to, to the index. 
table of contents. Then we come down here to lab four. Downloading resources in um, your introduction. So we click choose my browsers. I'm using Firefox once again. I wonder what you do if you got Opera. <laughs> I get well, like this is not complicated instructions, I guess. So if I click on this link to download the course resources, so now it tells me to save the file. So I click OK. See, it's called Resources Zip. Some of you noticed already that I had a folder called Resources. Well, how did I get that? We'll get there. Click OK. So now I can search for where I want to download it to. So I can go over here to Documents, go back to Course Folders, go back to Flash, and I click Save. So now um, I'm all done. I come back to my folder, open up Mr. Flash, and there it is. My resources here, all I do is right click. Now see there's an extract all. I'm not going to do this because I already have the resources folder. But you see that's how you get it. You just click extract all. If I open this up, you can see I have all my six projects in my midterm. So once you've done this, you're pretty much all set. Let me come on down, double check. Yep, that's doing, oh, turning in assignments. You need to zip these files because they're um, executable files and you can't put executable files into the down, into the core, um, into the drop boxes so you got to zip them. Just right click and click zip. Here I'll show you. Got a file, right click it, come over here to 7-zip, next to the last call add to new-zip, and there it is. That's what you send to Miss Hadley.